What's good, Commanders fans? I hope everybody's having a good weekend so far on this good Saturday. Um, shout out to my guy, Pedro Smith. He made a video about this too. I wanted to chime in about this as well because this is a big offensive year, man, especially with Eric Bieniemy. He has a lot of mouths to feed or a lot of people, you know, who are going to be asking for more targets, more carries than what they got in the offense last year. I can think of a guy like Logan Thomas. He's going to be asking for more targets for sure. And Antonio Gibson, he wants to line up as a wide receiver. Jahan Dotson's got to eat. Terry's got to eat. Curtis has got to eat. And De'Ami Brown, he's probably looking for more as well. So coming up with a new offensive coordinator and a quarterback that can push the ball downfield more than, you know, I'm a big Taylor Heineke fan, but he can push the ball down the field more than what Taylor Heineke did and is probably more accurate than Carson Wentz um, at this point, Sam Howell is. Um, you know, a lot of guys are going to be looking for more touches and, and more explosive offense than what we had last year. So Antonio Gibson is a guy, you know, this is a, this is from an interview that he did with Fred Smoot. And what I will say about Antonio Gibson, too, I do want to give him his props last year. He didn't fumble the ball as much as he did the year before. Now, he had six fumbles in 2021. Now, he did have more carries. He had 258 carries this year. This past season, he had 149. So it went from 258 down to 149 because of Brian Robinson being there. So he only fumbled one time, and I can't even remember the fumble that he had. It was against the Giants, but I'm pretty sure he got the fumble back because I don't remember losing a fumble to the Giants unless it was Taylor Heineke who got sacked because Leno let uh, Kayvon Thibodeau just run right past him. That's the only fumble I can really remember against the Giants. But that's the only fumble that he had. So I got to give Antonio Gibson his props. Yes, it was less um, uh, carries and whatnot, but he did a good job. And he didn't fumble on kick returns either, knock on wood. I don't want to jinx uh, my guy Gibby. So... And that was the thing about them. They didn't want to give him many carries last year, and they were kind of concerned about giving him more carries because right out of the gate, he fumbled in that first preseason game. So that was a knock on him. And you got to remember, this is a contract year for Antonio Gibson. So he's he's looking to showcase his skills to everybody, not just the commanders. He wants to show the whole league if the commanders don't bring him back next year. Hey, we have a guy that, you know, there's a guy out there, Antonio Gibson, that can catch out of the backfield. He can line up as a receiver. He can run. He's a good running back. Um, gets tough yards, can hit some home runs here and there. Um, this is a guy that, you know, he, he feels like he probably deserves a good contract, a big contract. Not a big contract, but a good contract coming out of preseason. So he has to showcase his skills. So um, this is the quote that he told Fred Smoot. He said, hopefully this year comes around to where I get to showcase on multiple occasions what I can do out there. He says, first, I love being out there. I have fun out there. And once I get the ball in open space, I'm really that guy. At running back, I'm not going to say it's not possible. Because I've seen a lot of guys do it, but those opportunities are not there. Once you catch the ball in that open field, you got so much more space. Uh, he says, just lining up out wide, like you said. I haven't shown my position. I feel the same way every year we talk about it, but it hasn't happened. And Scott Turner was that guy. Scott Turner uh, was a big part in drafting into a Gibson, but he just hasn't really got him at that wide receiver spot. They used him as a running back his rookie year. He did a good job. Um, you look at the Dallas game where he got three touchdowns. He really got in stride as being a running back and learning the position full time. Because he was really a running back first. Then we use him as a weapon a little bit, really not much, but he was majority, a majority of the time he was a running back. Now, you look at some numbers here, and this is the percentage of snaps that he did get at the wide receiver position. So in 2020, he had 8.8% .8 of snaps at, out wide or in the slot at the wide receiver position. 2021, 7.7% of offensive snaps out wide or in the slot. And then in 2022, 13% was out wide or in the slot. So, And we're loaded at wide receiver. That's the thing. Like It's going to be hard to get him at the wide receiver spot. But you can go five out on third downs or fourth and five. You can go five out and get him out there, put him in a slot. Um, but, yeah, you do have to be versatile. And Eric Bieniemy, he's different. You know, Jared McKinnon, you look at him, he lined up at wide receiver sometimes. Jaden McKissick lined up at wide receiver sometimes. You know, look at the wheel route. Even if he is used as a pass catcher at the backfield more, I think that would be good for Gibson. You know, look at the wheel routes we used to do with Jaden McKissick. I just didn't see that that much with Gibby. Now, the Jacksonville Jaguars game, that was probably the most that they used him as a wide receiver going across the field. Had seven catches for 72 yards in that game or the screen pass against the Bills. Even that was, you know, he lined up as a running back. But I do want to see him lined up as a wide receiver out there as well. You know, you can have him, Jahan. You can go four out him, Jahan, uh, Curtis, and Terry, of course. But then where's Deami going to be at? That's the only thing right there. So you take away some snaps from Deami if you put Gibby out there. But then again, it's like you got to put the best weapon out there, the best player who can get open and make something happen in space, some screen plays. And some actual wide receiver routes for Antonio Gibson. So um, I think this is something that they should definitely try to do. And Ron Rivera said they want to use him as a weapon more. They want to give him some more touches and some more snaps. And we talked that we talked about the screen game, how good the screen game has looked in training camp so far under Eric Bieniemy. So I'm intrigued to see 
what tricks he has up his sleeve and what tricks he has up in his bag. You know, Eric Bieniemy is was a running backs coach, and he gets the best out of his running back. So I want to see what he can do for Gibby. B Rob will be your uh, first down, second down back, and then I think Gibby's going to be your third down back. Basically, kind of having that J.D. McKissick role out there, kind of that Jerry McKinnon role. And Gibby's a really good pass blocker. Per PFF, he had some really good um, pass protection numbers. But I do want to see him used as a wide receiver, a kick returner out there, just like that weapon he was out in Memphis, where every time he touched the ball, it was almost a touchdown in Memphis. And that's the reason why we drafted him out there as well. So um, let me see. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, last year he had – uh, 58 catches, I'm uh, sorry, 46 catches for 353 yards, receiving and two touchdowns. The Colts game, he had a good game. And then the year before in 2021, he had 42 catches for 294 yards and three touchdowns. And then he had 36 catches for 247 yards, no receiving touchdowns his rookie season. But he had 795 yards rushing. And then his second season, uh, 2021, he had 1,037 yards rushing. He had 11 touchdowns running uh, in 2020 as a rookie and then seven touchdowns his sophomore season. So, um, just having B-Rob out there and Chris Rodriguez, who's another bruising back, more of a first down, second down back, I think he can be freed up more as a wide receiver as he came out of college. And I think he's a really good route runner as well. He did bulk up. He did gain some weight. So maybe if he wants to slim down a little bit more, that might have, that might help him out a little bit with his elusiveness and, and shiftiness and uh, running routes as well. So we'll see, man. I, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what happens and how they do use him. Uh, this season because it is a contract year for him and we got a lot of weapons man we got a lot of guys that are going to be asking for touches for sure and deserve touches because we have such a talented wide receiver group and such a talented running back group and if healthy Cole Turner and Logan Thomas they do they can definitely go out there and make some plays and make something happen so I'm excited for this offense for sure um, and uh, other notes they did talk about um, some guys that did work out out there um, I probably will make a video of who's going to make the roster from the running back uh, from the running back position I uh, still got Jerry Patterson fighting out there to get to make the roster Jonathan Williams guys like that um, but I probably will make a video about that a, a couple upcoming next week but uh guys that did work out out there in Florida was uh, of course Terry Sam Howell Jacoby Brissett Jahan Dawson De'Ami Brown Marcus Kemp B Rob Jerry Patterson and John Bates and Jonathan Williams I'm telling you see those are the running backs they're getting in Getting that work in. Jared Pat Patterson, we'll see if he makes the roster, at least the practice squad like he did last year. But he had a good game in that Dallas game. So I'm intrigued to see what he does this season. I'm excited to see what he can do this season if he makes the roster. And then Jonathan Williams, he's a tough runner out, out there as well. So, all right, you guys. You guys let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if there's any videos you guys want to see before the season starts. Training camp is not too far away, July 27th. I can't wait. I'm super, super hyped, man. I can't wait for the season to start, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, y'all. Health Commanders. Peace.